So if you're an athlete and you want to get faster, an idea is to sprint between sets of resistance training. This is common with jumping, but not as common for sprinting. Sprinting between sets in the weight room allows you to take advantage of the potentiation phenomenon that occurs after performing a movement while under load. I performed moderately heavy prowler pushes for seven yards, rested for a little bit, followed by a 10 yard sprint. Then I just carried that same thing over to the Hatfield split squat iso holds near the top position of the movement with a floating heel and continued sprinting between sets of that as well. So PAP works a little bit differently for each individual. So the idea behind this was not to set a set and reps limit on the training. I just wanted to continue to sprint after each set until I felt the effects start to wear off or until I felt some fatigue begin to set in. Doing training like this allows you to auto-regulate a little bit better than if you were to actually have a true set, set and rep scheme. Um, for me, it allowed me to get a little bit more volume with the potentiation effect than usual compared to if I was actually going to set um, a number of sets and reps into the training. So it was beneficial for me and it affects everyone a little bit different and I feel like I'm someone who's very sympathetic dominant and I get a lot out of this type of training. This exercise is just the Hatfield split squat, but from a um, higher depth than normal with the floating heel. I was just playing around with it, and I kind of liked the way it felt, so I'll probably continue to do it. And then once I felt the potentiation effects begin to wear off, I moved on to the end of my training, which just consisted of some heavy Nordic curls and some light single leg hinges. Um, these heavy Nordic curls were very difficult. I'd never gone that heavy with weight before. Um, I thought it was really good um, to do that and to pair it with some hinges so I could train the hamstrings structurally both from the proximal and distal ends. Then I just finished with one long and heavy set of isometric Bulgarian split squat holds for the tendon and the joint health. This entire training session took me just a little over an hour.